Now, just before I start this recipe, a couple of ingredients. Tamarind. Um, I don't use that terribly often. Asian chefs do. It's, it's actually from Africa originally, and it's got a sort of a sweet and sour flavour. You have to be very careful how much you use, and the easiest thing is just to buy this puree. You can buy it in a block, which you then have to squeeze out, the, or push out, I suppose, the seeds, but that's the easiest way to buy it. So that's in a puree. Be a little careful. It's like sesame oil. If you put too much in, it can take over. Nice sweet and sour balance. The other thing that I wanted to show you are these. These are garlic shoots. You can get them in good Asian grocers or veggie markets. And they're absolutely bloody beautiful. They really, really are. And you just cut them into length, saute them with a little bit of brown sugar and, and some soy and maybe a touch of vinegar. That's if you're serving them by themselves. I'm actually putting them in the scallop dish, so I don't need to do any of that. <laughs> right, let's put together the sauce. So you put this together the sauce first of all, and then you add it to some of your ingredients. One tablespoon of raw sugar, a tablespoon or two of chicken stock or fish stock or veggie stock, whatever takes your fancy. A teaspoon of sriracha, be a bit careful about that. Here we go. Tablespoon of fish sauce. Don't forget the tamarind, mate. One or two tablespoons of that. And last but not least, the juice of one or two limes. We'll check that, you know, once we've made it to just to see if it needs anything extra. Beautiful limes. They've just got so much juice in them, haven't they? Oh, that's good. You know, that's a good flavour. The balance is, is very important because if you don't get the balance right, it sort of takes over. I'll just cut these while I'm waiting for this. Actually, it's a very funny story. Well, I think it's funny. <laughs> when Charlotte, who is now nearly 20, may I tell you, right, when she was, and at university, when she was a little kid, oh, three, I suppose, Randall had a restaurant around the corner, which is now Lam Lau Family Kitchen. And he used to serve these garlic shoots and I reckon Charlotte for a year lived on dim sims, well sorry, sumai and these garlic shoots. I think that's all she ate and when she used to go around there she did about 30 of the blasted things. She loved them. I wonder whether she still does. She's a bit of a vegetarian these days or maybe vegan, I don't know. Right, what I've got here because I'm doing scallops and I don't do scallops very often, but um, I saw these lovely ones. Now, they sadly didn't have any roe on them. I always was brought up, you know, as a kid, working in kitchens and things, we always used the roe, but they've taken them off in, these, in this case. Now, all we do is we seal them in a hot pan. The other thing that I remember, guys, and it wasn't just me, it was everyone, we used to cook the blasted things for hours. I'm exaggerating a little, but you, you would, cook them, then you would put them in a cheese sauce and you'd stick them in the oven for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. My God, they were overcooked. No wonder I wasn't terribly keen on them. In this case, can I tell you, you just sear them and you get them out and then we'll finish them in the sauce. So, goodness sake, don't overcook them. They should be opaque in the centre. So, we can start taking those out because we're going to put them back into the sauce once it's reduced and once we've done some veggies in it. What I've got here is I've got some yellow capsicum, some red capsicum and some red shallot. Now I've just seeded, cored the capsicum and I have cut the shallots into fine wedges. You can add garlic if you like, but that sauce that is going to be there is quite strong. I don't think you need garlic in it, to be honest. Now that's a change for me, you know. I throw garlic in, in with my veggie mite. I've gone a bit strange. <laughs> All right, that's looking good. So we just seal that and then we add our sauce ingredients and we reduce that. We can throw those in. I think I've got a bit carried away with the quantity. I just, I just couldn't waste any because I had a nice little bundle. <laughs> So there's enough for about 300 people here. What happened to my one or two? 
I'll invite Charlotte around for dinner. She'll she'll eat 300 of them. So we've got our garlic shoots in here. This is looking good. Back with the scallops. Just throw those in. As I said, they don't need much. Certainly don't put them in the oven for 10 minutes. Now this is a real simple dish, but by goodness, it's tasty. You can do it with fish, of course, if you must. Can't see why you would, because scallops aren't that, do you? Not like lobster. Small sprigs of coriander over the top. I love coriander, I really do. Scallops, a little bit of spice, a nice dry Riesling. Pusey Vale is one of my very favorites. Special wine, I think. Always drunk Pusey Vale Riesling. So the Pusey Vale with that, and we, my friends, are in business. Really nice scallop dish with that. Tamarind, just giving it a bit of a bite. And the sriracha, of course. Not, it's, it, look, it's not super spicy. It's sort of got a, I don't think you'd call it sweet and sour, but it's, it's sort of. Anyway, you'll enjoy it.